Hello YouTube! Another project that I've been working on is kind of an imitation of the Deadwood stove. Uh, I saw the videos on it and thought this is the coolest thing around for a nice small survival stove. But uh, looking at it, I thought, well, there's something I can build. Should be able to build myself. And as I like to weld, although I can't do it very well, I thought, well, I'll try this is try. So um, by looking at the pictures, I kind of estimated every dimension on here. No idea if it matches the original, nor do I really care. Uh, but I figured the you know the the theory is going to be the same either way. So got this. Welded the thing together. Made a flippable lid. One thing I did in order to save myself some trouble in trying to fabricate a hinge, I bought the local uh, Lowe's, I believe, an accessible hinge from a house, the house door, which is offset, and it worked out just perfect. As you can see, the thing is centered very nicely across the top, and there's my hinge. It's not the best looking, but it certainly does the job. There's the slot at the bottom. What I did with that is I cut that with a Dremel and then used a punch in through the snout piece to bend it down over flat. Now where the Deadwood stove actually has legs that are, looks like they're angle iron and they're bolted together, I tried something different. I used some bolts. I put them all in my vise. I cut them off so the angle at the top would be the same and then welded them on. And what that allowed me to do was use some black iron pipe. Now I have some options here. If it's on a flat surface I can just slide the, the legs right in here and everything will be nice and straight. If it's on an uneven surface, as you can see, I welded on a nut at the top so I can screw each individual leg on at a different height and uh, and adjust for any inconsistency either in the ground or the surface it's sitting on. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, again it's a little crude. Uh, my welding again is pretty suspect but again something I really enjoy doing so I thought I'd give it a shot. Let me set this up get a good idea of what I'm looking at how high it will be just at the standard there we go so there it is setting up now it can be as much as uh, about two and a half inches higher maybe three inches higher if I run the screws in um, this is a nice height right here and I made the legs fit inside the unit Let's see tip this down the legs off back up. all of the legs will fit straight in here so they can be carried along. I do have a handle that I'm working on mounting. Um, the problem is the type of handle I have will not weld in here very nicely um, and keep the center of gravity where it needs to be. It's actually too low and then the thing wants to tip nose down or this side down and dumps my pipes out. So as for the handle, still working on that. There it is. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. And uh, just another neat project I tried. I have the two level chamber in here. Um, again, cost me probably $50 in steel and miscellaneous parts I bought. But uh, should get the job done. I'm looking forward to it. It's very sturdy. I have bought some pans to put on top. So, uh, so we're good. So, 
Any comments on it? Please let me know. Thank you.